has any stereoisomers. So uh, we can see that it does not have any carbon-carbon double bond, so no geometric isomers. But I can see one chiral center in this, which is this carbon atom. This is the chiral center. So I see one chiral center because you can see that this carbon atom is attached to a methyl group on one side. It is attached to an ethyl group. Uh, it is attached to an ethyl group on one side. It is attached to a hydrogen uh, on one side. And it is attached to the ketone group, which is COCH3, here, as you can see. So, we can see that this carbon atom is attached to four different groups. And as it is attached to four different groups, the third carbon atom I'm talking about, it's a chiral center. So, we will have an optical isomer of this compound, which is, if you draw the mirror image, So, you can see that they are non-superimposable mirror images, again optical isomers. So, this will also be multiplied by 2 because uh, for this structural isomer, there, is, there are two stereoisomers. So, let's erase this now. And I, I think there is one more structural isomer that we can make for hexanon. So, these are all the structural isomers that we've made till now for hexanon. There is hexan 2 on, hexan 3 on. 4 methyl pentan 3 on, 4 methyl pentan 2 on, 3 methyl pentan 2 on, which are uh, which exists as two stereoisomers, and now one more uh, one more structural isomer. So as you can see now, I have replaced this methyl group over here. So when I number this, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 4, or 4. So in any case, I will have 4 carbon atoms in my main chain. So this will become butan 2 on because there is, there is a ketone group on the second carbon atom, butan 2 on. So there are 4 carbon atoms, so but, and there is a, a carbonyl group on the second, so butan 2 on. And then we have 2,2-dimethyl, not 2,2, sorry, we have 4,4-dimethyl because you can see that on the fourth carbon atom, I have two methyl groups. So this becomes 4,4-dimethyl, I'm sorry about that, So 4,4-dimethylbutan 2 on. Now 4,4 uh, because there are two methyl groups on the fourth carbon atom. So I have to write 4 twice. And dimethyl because again two methyl groups. Butan because four carbon atoms in the main chain. And the carbonyl group is on the second carbon atom. So 2 on. So this becomes 4,4-dimethylbutan 2 on. Now this, this will not have any stereoisomers because no carbon-carbon double bond. So... Uh, so no uh, uh, geometric isomers and no chiral center as you can see so no optical isomers so this exists on its own so if we have to count the total number of geometric and stereo isomers of uh, of the of of this ketone which is hexanone in general in general it is hexanone if we have to count the number of uh, total number of structural and stereo isomers it's one 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7. So there are 7 structural and stereoisomers in total of this ketone. If we are only looking at structural isomers, then there will be 6 because this is one structural isomer. So if they only ask about structural isomers, they will, it will be 6. But if they ask about total structural and stereoisomers, since we have two stereoisomers of the fifth structural isomer, this will become two. So one, two, three, four, five, and then again, we count this again. So six and then seven. So in total structural and stereo, seven isomers. So now you know um, how to do the isomerism for ketones. 
Now, I was talking about the functional group isomerism between aldehydes and ketones. Let's look at that. 